Good morning guys, what's up? I'm here at yet another destination in Astana, Kazakhstan, the capital city of Kazakhstan. And just to give you a brief information about Astana, it's divided by the Ichim River into the left and the right bank. The left bank is in the north of Astana and the right bank is to the south. And the left bank is more of the ultra-modern city, whereas the right bank is more of the old city. So let's have a look at this great city and what it has to offer you. So we are in the National Museum at the moment. I am now heading towards Independence Square, which is also known as the Kazakh Eli Square, the main square here in Astana. This is the Peace Wall Monument. I am now walking towards this mosque, the Hazrat Sultan Mosque. So here we are in the background, you see the Central Park area. It's been a rather windy and cool morning and it's now time to take you around this area and have a view of the Ichim River. The Ichim River, the river that divides Astana into the left and the right bank. We are now here on this bridge, a pedestrian bridge, which was gifted by the Atarao city as a gift to Astana in celebration of 20 years. So this bridge connects the left bank to the right and now we are heading towards the right bank which is the old city of Astana. So this is a glimpse of the old town which is mainly the residential area of Astana overlooking the left bank across the river. So just taking a walk in the old part of the city which is the, the right bank. And as you see in the background, the, the buildings, it shows the difference compared to the left bank, where the left bank is mainly modern. And here, the old city on the right bank, you find most of the old buildings, pretty 20 years old. So this is the Turfan Cafe, a very traditional cafe. So 
So it's time to experience some local delicacy in this restaurant. This is called Amante. And guess guys, what's this? This is Kamus, which is horse milk, which is again a, a traditional drink in Astana. And a traditional salad called Vojtozhni. And while we wait for a surprise dish, which I will tell you soon, let's experience these dishes. So let's first experience the Vojtozhni salad. Pretty good. And moving on to Mante. So I think it's, it's more like a, a dim sum, what you find in Hong Kong, I, I remember. But let's see how this tastes like. This is also good. And for the very first time, the kamus, which is the horse milk. Let me try this. So it's very hard to explain to it. It's more of a... It's like a little sour. It's more like a... Like a fermented drink. But uh, it's good. It's very tough to explain. But it's, it's really good. So now here, the surprise dish that I was talking about, if you can guess it. So this is horse meat and it's supposed to be a delicacy here in Astana. So let's try it out. It's pretty good. So here we are on top of the Baitrek Tower, standing at the moment at 97 meters. And in the background, as you see, a great view of the entire city of Astana. The, the, the height of the tower right till top is 105 meters. So this is the first president's right hand print which is made of gold and silver and you see this belt here which is also made of gold and silver and three layers which depict independence, prosperity and labor. So it is a tradition for all the visitors who come here to place their hand on this write an imprint of the first president and make a wish. It's an honor to be at this place and the song to be played, which is normally played only for delegations. So I would like to thank the management of this Baitrik Tower for playing this special song, which was written by the first president during the handkeeping on this imprint.
my all the best. It's great weather, it's around 17 degrees now, a little bit of sun but still very cool and pleasant and I'm now walking towards the opera house. So here we are in front of the opera house. I'm off now to the Khan Chatir Mall which you see in the background in the shape of a big hat which is the traditional Kazan hat. This is the Sky Beach Club which offers the people here the opportunity to enjoy the beach area even during winter time when it's very very cold. So the indoor temperatures are around 20, 32 to 35 degrees with the water temperature around 27 or 28 degrees. It's 7.41 p.m. in Astana and still quite bright in the background you can see the sun has just set.
So guys, after exploring the city all evening, I'm now back at my hotel room. Let me now sum up my review about the city Nur Sultan or Astana as it was formerly known as. I would definitely recommend you to stay here in this city for at least 3 or 4 nights as there are a lot of sites to be visited. The city has just around 1 million of population which means you hardly see any crowds or have any major traffic jam issues. And most of all the people here are so friendly and helpful. Just to give an example, on my way back this evening from the mall to the Baitrek Tower where I wanted to go and take a few shots of the lighted tower in the evening, the staff at the mall helped me to get the taxi via the app. Not only this, the staff came outside onto the road to make sure I am in the right taxi and further on surprised me after about 5 minutes when I am almost reaching the tower where the person called the driver to make sure everything is fine. Well guys, this I felt was really awesome. I just felt they care about their guests and their tourists. So that's it for now. If you like my vlog, give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and see you at the next one.